Child, you ain't even calling the folks yesterday, my bad. Y'all sent me the voicemail. Y'all thought we don't fool with the people on the right hand side. And grandma, grandma, give me these shoes. I was sitting on the couch and you know I had to take me a little five to ten minute break. Yo, oh, what if you have a company, child? I ain't had company in years. I really should be embarrassed. I need a, a big ladder. That little step stool ain't enough. I ain't got that many groceries. Why didn't y'all tell me yesterday when we went to go get that dog on broom that I was gonna get a dustpan? Which one is the dryer? And which one is the washing machine? Jazz. I didn't think it was that bad. I know people are like, you need a little dining space, child. Ain't nowhere to dine in here, trust me. Ain't nowhere to dine. I feel like it's a lot bigger than a studio apartment. I don't think I'm tall enough to, what am I saying? I'm not even tall enough to get up there. We gonna need a little light. All right, y'all. First thing first, I think I'm going to start, well, first thing first, it's 640. My video is still uploading this day. It got five minutes left. So I'm gonna start in like this kitchen area. Like trying to get stuff cleared up and out. I'm gonna actually change out of these clothes that I currently have on now, so that I can get a little bit more comfortable. Oh, we, we blew it. My bad. I want to get a little bit more comfortable and also to. I need to put my feet is freezing. Like I was just sitting on the couch and my feet is just like freezing real bad. I'm about to take my um um. This one. I take my vitamins. I haven't taken my vitamins in like three days, and I can see a, a difference when I do take these and when I don't actually take them. This is the women's vo um women's multivitamin. Um, it's by Health by Habit. Um, it's a super multi for super women. It has vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, B12, C, D, and E inside of here. So I just take one of these a day, and then I'll also take Z for acne. This is what I've been taking. It's been helping, but I also have to remember my stress levels and also what I'm intaking in my body. I eat a lot of fried food, so then I know like I started seeing like some more breakouts, but overall I kind of do like, I kind of do, I do actually like this, but I only take this every other day. I don't take it every day. Um, but as far as the women multivitamins, I try to take this every day, but y'all, my head just been like, ever since I moved, it's just like, I haven't really settled in cause I still have to work. I have a job. I'm still uploading content, responding back to emails. I'm, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. So today and tomorrow I'm taking these days to really like get my house together tonight. We're going to pretty much put up everything. I'm not playing everything. Got to get put up tonight. Um, and then I need to take my braids out, so I don't know if I'm, I need to take my braids out later tonight. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this whole house done in like four hours, like, yeah, maybe between four and five hours, it shouldn't take me that long, because it's, let's say it's seven o'clock, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve o'clock, midnight, we should be done. We should be done with getting the house together, and that the only thing that should, we should still be doing, pretty much, is, um, washing clothes because i do gotta wash some clothes i need a lamp in this area area right here it's pretty dark but yeah so let's get straight to it i'm gonna go change real quick and then we're gonna hop into it i might put something because girl i need a scarf or something over my head but it's like i know where my stuff at but i don't know where my stuff at it's like it's all mixed together we just gotta we just about to get it together while i'm gonna be doing this too i'm gonna talk to y'all throughout but i'm gonna also be listening to a podcast too so that way i can keep myself up and motivated sort of sort of kind of um but yeah so without further ado let's get started okay y'all so i put on some sweats and then i got on these uh house shoes that my grandma gave me girl my grandma gave me these shoes and they're so comfortable and i kept my hoodie on because i'm cold but um so real quick i think first what i need to do is clear off everything because i know or maybe just clear off this side and put it over here. And then everything that go over there, go ahead and put that up after I clean it out and all that. And then we'll figure out from there. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I got my phone right here, y'all, because I'm about to listen slash watch a podcast while I do this. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met him in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burn. Then my therapist called me, and I forgot I had therapy. So this is all, like, this is all happened. This is all happened today. So, I don't know. She said, 
black honey when it comes to me. Skin is caramel with the cocoa eyes. Even got a big sister by the name of Chocolate. Brown sugar bay. I guess how on the love, don't know how to behave. She was like, then how could God not? Again, it's requiring a level of trust in, in, in the Lord. But once you get hungry, right, then you have the opportunity to put your trust in him to provide what you need because all of the, the suffering and all of the, the hardship and all of the hurt and the pain that I experienced last year, it was developing me. How can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough? Okay, y'all. So up top, I just put this up that I don't use typically all the time. Um, y'all know we don't fool with the people on the right hand side. And then over here, I got like glasses and stuff. And then here is just like my extra little cups that I normally use like in the summertime. So yeah, so that's that. Then we got glasses, bowls, other cups. I love how these cabinets have so much more space and they're tall. And I just love that. And then you guys saw a sneak peek, well, a quick little look from me when I was putting like my seasonings and stuff over here. On the top, I put like my medicines up there, like my medication stuff or whatever that I don't typically grasp for often. But as far as like my vitamins and my acne medicine, I put that here so that I, way I can, you know, easily grab that whenever I need it. And then along here we just got some more miscellaneous things i ain't got that many groceries we're gonna go grocery shopping not in this vlog but another vlog but yeah so i just put out what i actually already had so that's that um next we're gonna go ahead and start clearing out the drawers down here in the cabinets and go ahead and store like our pots and pans and stuff down there and i'm gonna continue more on this podcast Bye.
of isolated wilderness time with God. Yes. And we sought him and got to know him intimately by reading his word, not just by Amen. sitting there and being like, okay, but like it was reading his word yes. and with prayer. You want to have better character? Get in your word. I'm going to tell you something. Okay, y'all, so as y'all just saw, I just got done with the kitchen area. I still got some dishes in the sink, but we're not going to talk about that right now because I don't feel like doing no dishes, okay? Um, but I need to do my couch area and then uh, sweep in this area. I want to go ahead and also start a load of laundry. Why didn't y'all tell me yesterday when we went to go get that doggone broom that I was going to get a dustpan? Yeah, I forgot to get a dustpan. So I just got the trash like swept up into like a pile right now. I know you can use like a piece of paper and fold it to kind of sweep it up. So I, that's what I might end up actually doing tonight. And then tomorrow we'll go grab something because right now it's 8. It's 8.50. It just turned 8.50. So things are getting ready to close. There's a Walmart not far from me. I just Googled it. I didn't know it was a Walmart close by. But it's a Walmart not far from me, but they close at 11. If I feel like going there tonight, I will because I do want to get some curtains. But, and I think I'm going to put them up myself because I saw like this hack on Instagram how to put up the curtains. But I need to get some curtains and I need to like measure like the window and stuff to kind of see how tall and stuff I need them to be or whatever. And I don't think I'm tall enough. To, what am I saying? I'm not even tall enough to get up there. Jazz, I be trying to do everything, child. I need a, a big ladder. That little step stool ain't enough. But yeah, so real quick, cause we we crunched down on time. We said it was gonna be done at twelve, and we just did the kitchen area. But I think that in the room is gonna be like the bulk of everything, and. My closet, I don't think it's, it's going to take long in my closet because all this stuff is pretty much already on hangers. It just needs to be organized. My room, ain't nothing in that room. Ain't nothing in that room. Then the next big thing will be the bathroom. But without further ado, let's get back to it. I'm, I'm watching a, the podcast I listened to from Megan Ashley. One of them I listened to twice because one of them I actually listened to at work earlier this week because I'm trying to like watch at least one sermon a day so I, I can, you know, start my day off with God, which, you know, just reminded me of him, you know. Um, So I did that. I actually watched one and a half because I ended up, the second one I had already listened to earlier this week, I was just like, it played next. So I was like, okay. Um, now I'm about to like, um, these covers, let me show, not covers, what am I talking about? These pillows that's in my couch, y'all know the pillows that was on my couch, they were in a bag and I just stuck them underneath here. Okay, 
I just took them underneath here because I needed to get some Lysol, which you guys saw. I got Lysol yesterday. Let me turn y'all around so we can be. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, so y'all saw I had the Lysol. Was that yesterday we went to? That wasn't yesterday, Jazz. That wasn't yesterday? No, yesterday you got the flat tire. You didn't go nowhere before work yesterday. Oh yeah, Monday and today. Today is Wednesday. That was Monday. I did that with y'all. It was Monday. Remember when I went to go turn my keys in? It was after that. Yeah, my bad. I keep talking about yesterday. Yesterday, said, "Child, you weren't even calling folks yesterday." My bad. Y'all sent me the voicemail. We just gonna say that, okay? Alright, what are these? You know, just because. But like these decorative pillows, like how do you wash them? Like I. Keep I don't think you can throw them in a washing machine. Oh, remember I got the dry cleaner things. I could have did that, put them in a dry cleaner. Um, I got like these dry cleaner packet things that I got from Walmart. I could have done that. Yeah. I got that candle uh, one over there. It's a candle that I had actually got from Kirkland's and it's pumpkin. Hold on. It smells so good. It's called coconut pumpkin. It's called coconut pumpkin. It smells so I was sitting on the couch and you know I had to take me a little five to ten minute break. And I was sitting on the couch and I was like, oh, it smells good. What does that smell? And I looked up and I was like, girl, you just lit the candle. It smells so good. And to say that this is a studio apartment, it does not. I don't know, I feel like it's a lot bigger than a studio apartment. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is bigger than my last apartment or it's maybe just like shaped a little bit different because like there's a hall right here and then you gotta come right here. But I think it's a little bit bigger than, no, it, it got it definitely is bigger than my last apartment because that closet is bigger, the bedroom's bigger, the bathroom's bigger, kitchen area, everything yeah, is bigger. We'll go for that. And this is a, considered a studio apartment. Oh, and then like, when I moved here, well, before I moved here, when I was touring, he showed me the one bedroom. I was like, this is huge. And he was like, well, we have a studio. And I was like, okay. And I was like, perfect size. Like, I don't know. It's just like some place. Like, I don't want it to be too big right now for my liking because I know how I am. I like, I want my space to be like cozy, you know, fit or whatever. But yeah, y'all know I'm into small things. Lysol spray, just kind of like spray it in here, you know, just the glitter room chat a little bit. Then, of course, my couch and stuff. Um, y'all know I've been sleeping on my couch because I got rid of my bed, but it's like it's felt regular because I've been sleeping on my couch for the past couple of months now. So I'm just like, oh, okay, child, I forgot I even had a bed. But, um, a company did reach out to me, so I'm probably going to collab with them, get another bed and go from there. I sold my other bed because honestly y'all, I did not want to go through the hassle of moving so much stuff. This little bit of stuff that I got now was already a lot for me. And it's crazy because you guys know I had just moved two months ago and now I had to move again because of the incident that happened at my last apartment complex. If you don't know about the incident, basically child, I stayed where I was living at downtown. It was literally right beside a lounge slash club. And every night it was like so loud, like people fussing and fighting and it ended up coming to a point where there was a crime and two people got, you know, unalived in the alleyway of my apartment. And like, it's, I was, I, I understand, you won't quite understand how close it is unless you know in proximity everything was, was, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so somebody ended up getting there and 
from my understanding still to this day they don't know who did it and it just freaks me out it's just it is so much stuff on the back end it's just like i don't want to talk about it because i don't know too much about it and i'm not trying to put out false allegations but what i am saying is i don't feel like it was a safe area for me as well as some other tenants that i have already spoken with and they also moved out as well we were given 30 days um typically it's 60 days to break your lease but they gave us 30 days to break our lease I don't know what everybody else had to pay, but for me, I was charged $2,550, so $2,550 to move out. Girl, that's a lot, yeah. But yeah, and now we're here. And I really feel like God said, Jasmine, I had something so much better because just being in this space, one, I'm already very, very comfortable. Um, I do have somebody that currently lives above me, but in all, like, like so far, I'm not going to go deep now. So far, it's not bad. It's not bad. I always feared about someone staying above me because when I used to stay in hotels and I would have somebody above me, I couldn't he like like hear stuff. It would be like very very loud. But right now, it's like it's fine. It's not bad. I don't, it's not like I'm hearing it every second of the day. It may be like here and there or whatever. And it also reminded me of me, Jasmine. When you used to live above somebody, now you know how I, you sounded when you was up there moving furniture but you was really shaking your ass in the mirror dancing and acting fool up in the job so it's like okay now i see you know i'm able to see from somebody else's point of view i remember seeing somebody's vlog and they was talking about um something was going on with their dogs their dogs was like running back and forth if the people underneath them came to their door was like can you guys please calm down and they were just like it can't even be that loud it ain't that loud but that person just looking from their boss they've never stayed in an apartment before so they don't know what it sounds like when somebody is above you making a lot of noise so you know just right now i can see from both perspectives because i now i have lived in both you know spaces underneath and above somebody so it's like it's just pretty much learned this but it's not bad it's really not bad i actually like it the space here is actually really really quiet i probably can talk to that when people probably can't hear me but at this point i don't care because subscribe to the channel if i repeat a band. but yeah so that's just that i just came up here to tell y'all that real quick but just um be mindful too of like certain things like you're going to hear certain things you're in an apartment of course you're in a building with other people like that's fine jasmine but again i had to learn all of this coming from that space and i feel like god put me where i was at i was there and i learned from where i was at and now that i'm here again like i said the other day i can i, I can look at things a little bit different like okay you can have it this way or you can have it that way or it can be like that or it can be like this you know what i'm saying but i feel like god prepared me for where i'm at right now because like that that's nothing to be jab. You don't know where I came from. God is preparing you. He's preparing you. Whatever season that you are in, God is preparing you for that season. So don't look at that season as it's like, oh my God, why am I here? Why is this happening to me? Or, you know, this space that I'm in now, right now, is so hard. I can't do it. I can't do it. But baby, listen, God is preparing you for what he has to come for you. Believe and believe and believe that and have faith in him that he's going to pull you out of whatever that you're uncomfortable in as of right now. He will. Amen. That's my TED talk of the day, y'all. Good job. All right, so let me continue to watch my YouTube video and then I'll let you guys follow along with me. But we're going to try to figure out, y'all, this time, this time for real, for real, this time around, because the washer dryer is a stack hole, this time for real, for real, I'm going to figure out which one is the dryer and which one is the washing machine. I promise I will not put my clothes inside of the dryer. They can the washing machine. Amen. y'all oh i know what it is okay so i got the pillows and stuff up you guys see where my peace sign is currently at i y'all tell me what you guys think i don't think i'm gonna get bar stools reason being is like the where my couch is in here first of all it only be me don't nobody be here but me <laughs> obviously but I'm, i feel like it's a ways to get bar stools because will i really ever sit at them i don't know and i don't want to hear oh what if you have a company child i ain't had company in years so <laughs> since i lived in ohio so i'm fine okay so you see where my couch is at and then that's where they well that's trash that's where the island is and i'm i'm going to get a um rug here so i feel like having the bar stool is just gonna bring too much clutter i low-key kind of like the peace sign there but i do want something above my couch so which i might be using my peace sign above my couch as i did in previous homes but a company did reach out to me about like this stand it's actually for a tv but i was thinking maybe i can put this stand underneath like the cabinet where this is where this, like here i just have to like figure out the measurements and hope like it doesn't come 
too far out but it's like a stand and it's like it's really cute it's it's white and it has like gold handles which there is like bronzy goldish you know accents throughout the tone so i was thinking about putting that there and then i can just like store a couple things inside of that but i don't know i just gotta do my measurements to see because i don't want it to be too bulky or stick out too much as far as my rug i'm 99 percent sure i'm gonna get a different rug i don't think i'm gonna redo the black and white rug that i had in my last two places um so i need to donate that somewhere and then the bathroom rugs i am going to wash those and reuse those um because i had just bought those like two months ago and that's just wasteful for me to like throw that stuff out when i just bought it but as far as like my black and white rug you guys know i had that rug um when i first moved into my two bedroom two bath apartment so yeah that's that so i think i'm going to get something to go underneath there you guys let me know what y'all think um as far as like dining purposes i know people like you need a little dining space chat ain't nowhere to dine in here trust me ain't nowhere to dine i'm gonna be dining right there on that couch where i feel comfortable i eat my food i'm fine with it ain't never hurt me before ain't gonna hurt me now if it ain't broken don't fix it so yeah so that's that um and then as far as the curtains i'm gonna do two curtains on both sides and then the mirrors i'm gonna redo my mirrors these walls are taller than my last place so i know that it will fit i think it's like two inches taller like maybe two inches taller than my last place not that much taller but i'm going to do like the mirrors here but remember i only have four so i'm going to see uh, is there a book behind this mirror Oh, it's not. So that is perfect. That's perfect. We're going to do a DIY. That's going to be a whole nother vlog. But I'm, I'm excited about that. Oh my god, that's going to be so cute. That's going to be so cute. So yeah, so that's that. So now this front area part is pretty much cleared off. We did the couch. And we also did the kitchen area here. Also too, y'all, there's this little like section piece. I don't know. Like maybe a TV is supposed to go here. But you guys know I don't watch TV. So like i don't know i don't think i'm gonna put anything there i don't know what to put there like i, I it's a, this space right here so there's a hallway this is the couch area then that's the bedroom it's like this space i was thinking of maybe doing like some decor on here maybe some floating shelves with some plants because i do want to go ahead and get back into my plants for real because y'all know the last two did so i'm thinking about maybe floating plant floating shelves here with some plants here and then as far as the hallway we're gonna just pray about that because i don't i don't even know what people put in the hallway like in the hallway there it's like pretty long so i'm probably gonna ask my mom my mom is my mom and my sister is actually really good with like home decor stuff so i'm gonna ask them about that so now we that we got this pretty much it smells so good in here that candle smells so good so now let's go inside of the bedroom area and let's oh my god y'all <laughs> I am so, I should be embarrassed. Oh my God. I really should be embarrassed. Like, girl, why does this look like this? It looks so bad, y'all. It's so bad. I figure if I start off in the closet first, because I'll know where like everything will be going and everything like that. So I'm gonna, ooh, not y'all better about it. But I got another one that's already fully charged. So I'm about to switch y'all out. Hold on one second. Okay, y'all. So like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and start in the closet first. Let me turn off these lights. Y'all know we got APL. Oh no, they don't. No, they don't. Turn that on. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to start off in the closet first. That way I can get that organized because most of the stuff is pretty much going in the closet. And yeah, girl, it's a mess. And then let me grab my phone really quick because I'm going to continue to watch. I'm watching a YouTube video now. So let's do this. Oh. Jace. I didn't think it was that bad, girl. You know it wasn't good. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like currently. I'm glad the lighting in here is actually really, really good. It's really good, so I like that. But, um, yeah. Let me check. Let's start with maybe the stuff that got the trash bags. The trash bags, they, that's just distracting me, honestly. I think that's what was what's happening here. We're just going to go with that. Okay. Ooh, check. Get out. I do like the fact though that this closet has like a bottom rack part and also like a top part. 
remember I was talking about that in my last apartment but yeah I, maybe no I think it's fine yeah okay all right so let's get to this and my personal story and growing up mm -hmm. like yeah. how was your experience that's that's amazing better listen you trying to show you something. Whoa. All these offers. Who are you with? All these. Who am I with? Yeah, you just. Went oh. Out of Girl, I'm vlogging. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh unpacking my stuff and I'm vlogging, cleaning out my closet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. I can't believe. Okay, I'm gonna read you what the email said. Okay. Girl, 